Female citizens of Louisiana are denied equal protection by the total absence of their peers from the jury. I thought the and new theory was that there's very little difference between men and women, and so why wouldn't the men jury be there? Well, peers? I'm not aware of that new theory. They didn't get it. They didn't understand the issues that women were facing, or they didn't see them as issues. Because women had, in their minds, women had a place, and it wasn't where Ruth Ginsburg was suggesting that it ought to be. Men and women are persons of equal dignity, and they should count equally before the law. You won't settle for putting Susan B. Anthony on the new dollar. <laughs> <laughs> when they would say things like this. How did you respond? Well, never in anger, as my mother told me. That's, that would have been self-defeating. Always as an opportunity to teach. I did see myself as kind of a kindergarten teacher in those days because the judges didn't think sex discrimination existed. Well, one of the things I tried to plant in their minds was Think about how you would like the world to be for your daughters and granddaughters. The gender line helps to keep women not on a pedestal, but in a cage. One of the things that I'm struck by as I look back on it is how unprepared the defendants were to fight back. We won because the strategy was brilliant. We won because we were smart and prepared and we fought hard. You couldn't miss what Ruth was doing during the 70s. She was creating uh, a legal landscape 